showing you guys first the house that I renovated in today's video that I dropped. Um, as you, if you guys been watching me for about two to three months now, then you guys know that I renovated a chop house. I think that was maybe December or January, but I renovated a chop house and that video did okay. So I decided to give you guys another chop house renovation. <laughs> So I'm going to just give y'all a little first person tour this first because most of you guys were saying y'all like the little first person tours. So I'm going to give y'all a first person tour this and then explain to y'all some things that I did when I renovated and then we can get into the mansion renovation. Okay, so this is the living room. When I renovated this house, I left this as the living room. Um, This is a bedroom and I think, yeah, I left this as a bedroom. I just added a bed, a computer desk and all that. But y'all can see that stuff in the video. I just want to show you guys this real quick. It's the bathroom. This bathroom is real. This house is real outdated. It's the kitchen. And then here's the master bedroom. Which before this is very ugly. I didn't even look at this. But this is very ugly. And this bedroom doesn't even look like it would be a master. This looks like it would be like a teenager bedroom or something. But that's it for this little house right here. It was just a two bedroom, one bathroom. And now we're going to move on to this mansion that I renovated. I kind of started it and then I stopped because I said I wanted to do this for live. So I'm going to show you guys the original version. <sighs> All right. So this is the mansion right here. It's, I think, five or six bedrooms. One, two three four no that's not a bedroom hold on wait was that a bedroom i count it okay we got four five yeah we got about five bedrooms in here and um down here is set up kind of i hate the way this is set up i don't know why they got this little opening from this kitchen area but i already got some ideas of how i want to do this mansion so i'm gonna just go ahead and get straight into this First thing I want to do is, I'm not even lying, I think I want to leave these bushes and this grass and stuff for now. I may end up removing this stuff, like, when I'm finished with it, but I'm going to just keep this stuff in the front yard for now. And I'm going to start renovating the exterior of this. So I looked at this mansion a little bit before and came up with, like, some color schemes and some little designs for it. So what I was thinking is, on this little front piece right here, we go with this black brick. And then I'm going to wrap that around to right here. And then on this other side, well, not on the other side, but like on this little piece right here, I'm going to do that. And we'll do this here too. I'm trying to evenly distribute the colors because I want to put this other brick, this brick right here in this light color. I like this part and on this side and then where else did I want to put that I know I'm gonna put that on like these little pieces right here and um, I'm trying to think of where else I can put this well it'll look like everything flows together if you get what I mean I'm gonna put it place that there and then up here we'll do black on these <laughs> do black around this I'm not even lying I'm really just ready to get into the interior of this cuz I like the way this interior the way I think I want to set this up I like the way it's gonna come out so let's go ahead and remove this little fencing from around this roof I don't know why they will put this up here but this is like a 90s mansion so I'm going to remove this fencing from around this. And um, let's go ahead and actually remove these ugly windows. Definitely want to go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Uh, that front door I'm keeping because that's one of the updated, the more updated front doors from the average naughty pack. So I'm going to keep that front door. But I'm definitely going to change out these ugly windows with these shutters on them. Definitely older style. Uh, the windows I want to go with is... Hold on, where's the first window? 
Okay, the first one is right there. So this is gonna go up top here. Hold on, I need to turn on BB. Move objects. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn on BB. Move objects and place that there. Um, I wanna paint this door white and black. And then we're gonna go with some black windows. Uh, right here on this side. Where's that window at? Wait, I'm trying to find the correct window, wherever it's at. Okay, how can I find the window now? I just seen it. Oh, right there. Okay. So, I'm going to grab this one right here, and we're going to paint that all black, and that's going to go... Wait, how did I have this set up? I'm trying to remember. I had this down here, I think. I went over a few designs how I want to set this up and I think I had this window down here and then up top I went with two of these smaller windows or did I do it the other way around I can't remember I do think that these bigger windows belong at the bottom or let's see what this looks like y'all think that looks better Hello. I'm trying to see which one looks better, huh? Wait, but this one, I can't really see nothing. Comment, which one do y'all think look better? Do y'all think the bigger window up top look better? Or should I do the smaller windows up top? And then the bigger window at the bottom. Should I do it like that? Or should I do it with the... Bigger window up top. I don't know how I should set that. I'm going to just set it up like this for now. I feel like that's perfect because that's like a bigger on top. Okay. All right. So we're going to go with the bigger window up top. If it will place. Yeah, it will. Bigger window up top and then the smaller two down here. Okay, so I'm going to place that there and then the smaller two down here. Wait, why won't... Okay, there it goes. Alright, so I'm going to set that up like that. And over here on this side, uh, this is... What is that? That's a closet or like a little... It's an extra room inside of a bedroom. I don't know what I would consider this to be because this bedroom always already has a bathroom inside of it and a little closet. So I don't know what I would take that area to be. I don't know, but I'm going to just say, uh, okay, so we did the big windows up top and then I did those two smaller ones there. So I'm thinking we should take this bigger window and place over here. And then over here we'll do, that's the garage right there. So we'll do. Oh, uh, should I do the bigger window over here too? Okay, yeah, that looks good. Maybe an office. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, so I'm gonna do here. Yeah, I'm gonna do the bigger window over here, and that's the garage space. Yeah. Okay, so we got that put together. Uh, the rear side of this house. I might as well just go ahead. Oh, hold on. Oh, I thought I added the paint for a minute. With the rear side, I don't think I'm going to add any of that black brick. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I add that black brick around like the little chimney right there. Or that is that living room. That's the main living room. Yeah, I'm definitely going to end up removing that. So we might as well just go ahead and delete this now. Uh, okay, they just use walls there. So I'm going to just go ahead and delete this. <coughs> Wait, why is okay? I hate when these walls will not remove. No, I don't want to click the structure. Okay, there we go. Get rid of that wall and this little roof. Slide that back. And then on this back side, I'm gonna just go ahead and grab the little paint swatch and turn on by our room and paint the back side of this. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up the paint in the front. 
Hold on, wait. Oh, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, that's different room. So we good on that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and paint this whole back side of this with this brick, like what we use in the front. And then I'm gonna um the windows on the back side. That stuff will get added as I go room to room to the rooms in the back of the house. So I'm gonna just leave that like that for now. And this deck right here, I'm definitely gonna be switching this up. I like the way it looks, but it doesn't fit the way I want to do this uh this little area over here. So I'm gonna definitely be switching that deck up. But let's oh, wait, let me fix this. All right, now that I fixed that, um, up here, oh, I need to change out these ugly little windows. I could have kept them and painted them black, but that's still, like, outdated windows. I'm going to put some of the fresh new windows up there, and we're going to do those in black. Or should I do them in white because of... Should I do them in white or should I leave them black? Because I could... Hold on, let me turn off my room real quick. All right, so what I'm thinking is with that, I could uh, paint this right here back black and then change this to white. Or is that ugly? Yeah, I'm going to just leave that black. I'm going to just leave them black. All right, so next thing I need to do is remove that step. And I'm not going to do anything with like the landscaping or the driveway yet. Not even from why I'm kind of excited and ready to go into the interior because I got some little ideas already put together for the interior. So I just want to go ahead inside. Not even from why I usually don't like these columns right here, but they actually fit nicely with this house. So I'm going to just paint them black. Or is that too much black? Should I keep them white? Somebody drop down in the comment section right now, which I think white or black. Cause we got the white back here on this part i don't know i might keep them let's just do black for now and then i'm thinking about it let's do white okay so i'm thinking about it let's change this roof pattern yeah this roof pattern definitely makes this look 10 times better Switch this out, and then I gotta go back and paint that back black, white. I mean, all right, let's paint that white, and then mm, there's not really nothing else I want to do in the exterior right now because I want to get in the interior. All right, so right here's the little foyer area. This is open and you can look right in from right here up above. So I know I'm definitely going to be chase, placing a chandelier right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and remove this ugly light. And the little design I have for this. So we got the dining room right here. And then we got the living room right here. Well, this is a secondary living room. So this would be the living room where like the furniture would go where nobody goes and sits or whatever. But what I'm thinking is, first of all, I want to double this up. You guys are probably thinking, what do I mean by double it up? Hold on. Slide these windows over. And I'm going to double up this wall right here. Oh, I got to slide that window over again. I don't know if it's perfect. All right. So I'm about to double this up and I hate doing these little like single archways. So I'm going to move that and grab this little archway. Where is it at? Right here. We're going to put that here. And then put another one on the opposite side. I don't know. I just like this little hallway thing in the middle of them. And then we're going to close this wall right here up. Remove these columns and place some of those. Oh, I gotta double that wall up. So I gotta double that up on both sides because that's got 
two entrances. So we got to double this side up. Oh, I'm going to have to slide my windows down. Wait, where is that at? Yeah, I'm going to definitely have to slide those windows down. Man, but it's going to throw off the look at the front of the house. And then double this side up. Move this little ugly furniture out of here. <clears throat> and then place my archway. I want these to align with each other. And we can go down a little bit with this. Right there. And then right. I mean, that's definitely not a line. These need to come down a little bit more. Alright, now that's perfect. Alright, so we got those. The new archways put up. Um, Oh, I need to do another one right here. In this little area. And this is kind of perfect because it's already got that little double space right here. So all I got to do is draw the walls and then place the archways. And they got this little ugly trimming right here. So I'm going to just grab some new trimming and place it in black. Because I want to do a... Um, I'm going to do a black accent wall in this little foyer area. That's too thick. I'm probably going to end up using this one right here. All right, so we got that. Boom. And then you guys seen I used this white and black step out here. So definitely going to use a white and black step up to the upstairs space. And then we're going to do the white and black fencing. Uh, I hate that this white and black fencing and then where's the other one this one right here is the only two that I like if they had this in the white and black option I would definitely use this but it only comes in just the solid black and then the solid white so we don't end up using this fencing around this staircase I wanted to change the way this was set up but I see how they got this wall right here I was thinking about placing two staircases, but then I noticed it wouldn't be no entrance from this space right here, so I just left it the same. Wait, hold on. How do I? Okay. All right, so now we got that changed out. I like the way that look. Um, I want to use that new accent wall that I got in one of those packs. This one right here, and we're going to get it in black and this whole wall right here i want to put this against this back wall and these little side walls right here i'm thinking we just paint those white because i'm gonna run this white plain but pretty paint swatch all throughout and i hate the fact that i can't find a matching paint swatch without this baseboard on it for this little area right here i just want this to be plain white but i can't find a paint swatch without that baseboard on it so I'm going to run this on these little side walls. And then I'm thinking back here we do the same thing. Boom. Boom. Boy, I need to get some lights in here. This is just temporary lighting for right now because I am going to still add a chandelier here. So I'm going to just grab these little circle lights. Boom. And place that. Like right there and right here for now. Wait, I wish this was black too, but I feel like that would have been a little bit too much black then. Maybe I should. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this little space right here. Oh, and then it changed that color. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the floors in here, I want to do, I wanted to do black floors in here, but I already know I want to use these old worldwide plank wood floors throughout the whole house. So I don't know how I should go about that. 
if I should do the black floors and then use these throughout the rest of the house. I know in like most big houses I see the foyer area has like marble floors or something in it, but I'm not sure about using these floors in it throughout the rest of the house and then using black floors in this area. I don't know, hold on. let me see what this looks like in first person view. If I do decide use if I do decide to use the black floors in that area, then I'm gonna use them in like a tile or a stone, not wood. All right, so this is how this looks so far. Um, I just don't know how to feel about these black floors and then going into these floors. No, I don't think I think I might just run those floors through that foyer area too. And then do like a little custom design in there somehow. I don't know. So I'm definitely going to do that like that. Let's go ahead and put these floors throughout this little dining room and this living room. And then take our plain but pretty paint swatch all through. And then I'm going to do the little, I'm going to get my floor plan design be together before I paint the whole house so since I put the floors in these little areas I'm gonna just go ahead and paint them that's crazy this is actually my second mansion renovating so this one right here definitely looks way different than the last one it's pretty similar but it's definitely way different because the Walls on the first floor, and this one is um, low walls and not medium. All right, but let's move on from this area right here for now. I definitely got a lot more design and stuff to do in this area, but I'm trying to get my floor plan design put together for down here. So I'm going to just move over here to this living room space and raise this platform back up to its normal height. And this platform back here. And in, in this kitchen, um, let's just go ahead and build this wall back because that's definitely going to be a full wall back here. I don't even know why would they do that like that. And I'm thinking this big space back here, I know this is supposed to be, this is a dining room now, but I'm thinking to just turn this into a full on sunroom. So remove that and then remove this and run these big. All glass windows where they at where are those this this window right here get in all black and then run this all the way around and turn this into a full-on sunroom and then we'll put like a slot into or something in the middle oh wait could I use would I be able to use this big sliding door or would it be, I could use this back here, but I'll have to move, remove one of those windows. So we're just going to go with a way, regular sliding doors are going to be way too small though. I mean, they fit, but I don't know. Should I add, should I just do two windows and then, oh, that's not going to work. Okay. We're just going to put the window back. Alright, so these designs that you guys are seeing now are not final. I'm just putting together my design for it. Well, the layout for the design. Alright, so we got that like that. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do the archway in here because I can't double up the wall. Well, I can, but I don't want it to interfere with this window. Or we could do half a window there. We can do the uh, little single window there. And like I was saying, I'm going to place the single window here. So I'll be able to double this up and do the archway thing like I did over here. Yeah. 
So now I'll be able to double this wall up. Hello, hello, uh, in place. This archway right here. And I'm probably going to end up sliding it over a little more, depending on how many cabinets I do in this kitchen. But for now, let's go ahead and remove this stuff over here. I see they just got cabinets. Um, this space right here, since they just had cabinets here, I think I should just turn this into like a little bar area. Since this is considered to be a mansion. And it's... And plus I did that in my other mansion, so I'm definitely gonna turn this into a bar area. Uh, this is the small laundry room. And then they got a closet right here. So the way I'm thinking I should set this up. Uh, okay, I know how I wanna set this laundry room up. So I'm gonna have to pull this wall right here, back one, make that a little bit bigger. And then since I already changed out that staircase right there, I can go ahead and change this one out. Add the new railing. And this is like a little exit right here. So we'll just place the door there. I'm gonna probably just place something like this door. Dang, they don't, oh, they do got this in the black and white like the front door. So I'll place this door here. All right, so I like the way this is coming together so far. I know it's a few different things that I'm looking at that I might change later on, but let's get into this kitchen and this living room design. I'm definitely going to be making that living room a lot smaller because I want to add like a little hallway, excuse me, in between the kitchen and the laundry room, not the laundry room, the kitchen and the living room. So let's just go ahead and break this down and take all this stuff out of here. Um, we definitely gonna be removing this. That's ugly. And do we have like a little main bathroom down here? I know we got this bathroom right here in this bedroom, but that's what I, oh we got a half a bathroom right there. Um maybe I should add another one too. I'm not sure. Let's just get this together though. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and move these cabinets out of here. Not mean to do that. And watch, I did it again. Okay. Get this stuff out of here. I'm gonna just grab those lights that I used in this little foyer area, which is temporary. place right in this kitchen space and the design I got for this kitchen I'm thinking we run cabinets along that back wall along this wall right here um, I'm probably gonna end up like I said I want to do a hallway in between this space so I got a little idea okay so we can do that right there and then through here how did I want to do through here through here I wanted to make this a hallway so I won't be able to do the double archway right here I'll be I'll have to do a single archway on this first part but once we get to this second part I want to make a little hallway like that and then and here it doesn't have a pantry, so I'll probably put a pantry on this back side. And then right here, I want to do like, y'all know how like in those mansions, they'll have like this little, I don't know how to really explain it. It's like a little area with like a table and then it'll have some type of special statue or something on it. I want to do something like that, but I don't see a way of uh, doing a wall like that. So what I'm going to do is just curve that in like that and then we can actually turn this space right here if I can get this to shape out the right way into a half a bathroom if I can get that to shape out the right way I 
Hold on, wait. So what? Wait, 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 wait. I still gotta be able to double up. I'm still gonna have to be able to double up the um the archway. So oh, we can make this longer maybe. Pull that bag. Boom. I know this might look a mess right now, but I'm trying to put it together. Okay, so we can remove this wall right here. And these two walls. Boom. And this wall. And this is the place where the archway is going to go. So we're going to place a wall in between that. So you can't see that from inside the bathroom. And then this would be a half a bathroom somehow. And we got the pantry back here on this back side. I want to put a, um, I know in bigger houses they be having like butler closets in between the kitchen and the dining room. I want to put that, but it's not going to be enough space. So we can do our half a bathroom here. I might end up switching that door and placing that here though. Because when you walk in and the sink and toilet could be back here. Um, let's go ahead and grab the archways and place there. And through here, I said I was going to do some archways on this end. So I'm going to just go ahead and build this wall across here. Place that wall there. Place that there. And should I just draw another wall and place? Wait, I don't want this to look weird, but how would this look? Oh, is this gonna be a black? It's gonna be like a black hallway. Wait, why this? Oh, because I... Okay, there we go. All right, let's see how this looks together. Oh, wait, I need to add the... Uh, I hate that I got to do this, but I got to place a single archway there. This little archway right here. This has to go here. Because the kitchen cabinets will run along this back wall. And then we'll do two over here. And then we'll do an island in the middle. And then over here will be the bar area like I mentioned because they had cabinet they just had cabinets over here so I'm thinking we make that a bar area now and this space right here would be like a little secondary dining room space I'm guessing and I'm planning on making this deck extend around to this part right here and putting up like a sliding door to go off to the deck okay um Trying to think how I want to set this up now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's run the floors through here. Get rid of this ugly brick floor. Mm. The cabinets. I know I've been using these cabinets right here a lot, but... It's not that many cabinets as you guys can see I actually have and I feel like these cabinets right here are going to fit perfectly in here so I'm going to do these on this back wall boom boom I'm trying to think of how I want to lay this out I'm going to just place that there for now but I'm def I definitely don't think that's going to stay two cabinets over here and then I want to I really want to do these like little it's not an arch, but at the same time, it kind of is. It doesn't have an arch. I want to do a square. Not right there. Like right here. And I want to do another one on this side, but this kitchen not big enough to do all that. So, uh, we're just going to do a island. Oh, wait, I might have to slide this back. Because, yeah, I'm going to have to slide this over one. Wait, no, I didn't mean to do it like that. Okay. Let's just pull that back, pull that over. 
All right, now <clears throat> this is big enough to do three cabinets. This three cabinets wide. So like that. Put the island cabinets on the back side. Which I think I should slide these up a little bit. And then slide these back to half a tile. Boom, like that. And I'm not sure how. I noticed, I know I want the stove to be in the middle and it's four cabinets, so. We could do, oh, this wouldn't even count because what I'll do here is put <coughs> double stack ovens. So we'll raise this up. And then the oven will be in the middle, but on this end piece down here, we'll do uh, one of those, what's the thing called? Uh, the double tile cabinet. So on this end, we'll place a double tile cabinet. And then regular tile, regular tile. Uh, should we place that regular tile there, even though it's kind of in the cabinet? What would a half a tile? Nah, half a tile cabinet is too big of a gap, so. Oh, that's what's wrong. I raised this up a little bit too high. Okay, so we're gonna grab this, slide that back, and then lower that down one like that. <clears throat> Even though it's still kind of gonna be touching a little bit, it's better than what it was. <clears throat> Then here in the middle, we're going to do this little cooktop. Uh, definitely going to change the cup on that. I want that to be white and black. Yeah. <laughs> and. No. Nah, I'm not going to do a backsplash yet. But I'm going to just go ahead and paint through here. Since we got this little idea put together. So we got that put together and like I mentioned to you guys over here is the little bar area So the bar is only like two squares wide. So on each side I can do a cabinet And then I hope they got a matching bar To these cabinets I just got to go through now. I know that's not the match because it would have those exact colors uh, I'm not even seeing the match to those cabinets. I mean, what's this? Nah, this is definitely... This is the only other small bar I got that'll fit in the middle of that. None of these bars match those cabinets. So this, this pack, this cabinet pack right here must be the income with a bar inside of it. So what I'm thinking is this is the only cabinet with the white countertop. So I'll place this here in the center. <laughs> and then like put some cabinets above that. With immaculate shelving. <laughs> So we'll do the brown immaculate shelving in the middle. Like that. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else do we need to do in this little space? <clears throat> um, right here, it would just be like a little small dining room table or whatever. Oh, we forgot the cabinets over here. Oh, over here. Matter of fact, what I got? I got an idea. Double tile cabinet, <laughs> full tile cabinet, and I'm pretty sure y'all see where I'm going with this. 
this is the only refrigerator right here will, that will fit under this setup like this so I'm gonna use this refrigerator <laughs> <coughs> Of course, we're going to place this sink in the center. All right. Um, I need some lights to place above this island. I'm not even sure what lights I want to use. I'm kind of tired of using the same light, but I don't have too many different ones. Uh... Okay, I'm going to lay out some options, and then I'm going to let you guys tell me which one y'all like better. <laughs> okay, so we can go with either these lights right here. One. And then, uh, I do this one. Two. And which should I use is three. Uh, I should just use not nah, as two. This is three. All right, I'm gonna go in first person mode for y'all so y'all can see which one do y'all think looks better in here. And just looking at all the colors and stuff that I'm going with, I'm gonna just tell you guys I am gonna be going with a black backsplash. So, which light do y'all think looks better? I don't know. One, two, or three. I'm thinking, looking at this, I am gonna go with a black backsplash. Uh, I don't know, this is a hard decision. I don't know, I might go with two. I'm probably gonna go with two. Probably gonna end up going with two. Two is a longer light, and I think it just looks better. So I'm gonna place two in here. <clears throat> we got the staircase right there next to the kitchen. Uh, with a secondary staircase. Might end up painting that black. The um this part right here black should we do the should we do the wall black too nah i might end up just painting that black i'm not sure all right but we got this set up oh and i want to give y'all a first person tour of this hey uh this is the little hallway. I was saying I wonder if this would look weird. It's kind of dark through here, but I kind of like this, the way it's set up. So this is the little entrance into the um, living room. Then we got a half a bathroom right there, which you can walk in like that. We had a sink over here and then the toilet. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is right here. This is just a random. I think this was like maybe a closet or something they had right here. Oh, hold on, wait. Oh, that's into the dining room. I'm tripping. We gotta change the archways to that. I thought that was just a closet or something, but this is into the dining room. We need to slide these windows over. Even though it's gonna look a little off on the outside. Put the windows like that. <laughs> And then, mm, trying to think of how else I want to set. We got that set up as the um, as the sunroom back there. Basically, got the kitchen set up, and all this stuff right here. This is like just my design ideas. I might end up changing up things later on, but for now, this is what I'm thinking. Um, back here, this is the laundry room, and then they got a closet right there. I don't know how I feel about this closet being right here. 
if I paint it black. I don't know. I don't like that touching the back door. So maybe we'll just, uh, I don't even know what to do with this little space right here. Okay, I know what I can do with that. <clears throat> even though it's going to look a little funny, we can do archway, boom. And then in here would be like a little, this would be like where you hang coats and stuff up when you come in. So that'll be like that. I'm going to build a little custom, um, like little bench thing in here and then put some shelves and stuff in there. I'm just going to leave that like that for now. This garage, this is a really big garage. Why don't these doors, I don't know why you can't see them on the other side, but these some real big doors. Slide them down. And you can't change the color of these, so they have to stay like that. Let's just remove them ugly lights. Move that. And they can go down a little bit. Alright. Alright, that's set up like that. Um down here with our bedroom. We only got one, two, no one bedroom down here. Cause this is like a um this is an office. I might end up keeping these bookshelves in here and just painting them black. Right now, I'm just trying to paint this little stuff and put my ideas together for it. Uh, in this living room. They had the fireplace on that. On this wall out to the patio, but I think I'm going to add some patio doors like some big windows back here in this living room space so i'll put <clears throat> maybe a custom fireplace in here on this back wall but i'm not gonna do like one of them little skinny oh wait can i do a bigger one uh, i will have to do that one for e how should i do this i want to do a bigger fireplace than this but i don't want to do it this wide I feel like that's just outrageous right there. That's just a little bit too much. If I do a three, it's going to be off. Or or we can do a three and then place a square here. Even though we won't have one on this side, I'll probably just build a wall on this side. <coughs> Remove this column. And then we'll do like the little, maybe cabinets and then some shelves above it. Alright, so we got the floors placed in there. Gotta place the floors through our little hallway area. I'm trying to think what else I want to do down here. Upstairs, I got a few major floor plan design changes I want to make. So, yeah. That's the office space like I mentioned. I'm not going to paint that yet. And in this closet, I'm going to try to do like little custom closets in each one of these bedrooms. Because each one of these bedrooms got pretty good sized closets. So, I'm going to try to do custom closets in each bedroom. Uh, we got a bathroom, which I'll just leave it playing like it is. I'm just going to update everything. And then in these bedrooms, it's just going to be simple designs in the bedrooms. Oh, we got to wait. How do you wait a minute? So you have to enter this bedroom from the main living room. I don't, that's not. I don't like the way they got this laid out. Let's remove this. Let's let's take this uh, half a bathroom away from here because I already added a new one. So we really don't even need that one. Place that there. 
his bedroom got a bathroom. So we removed that and then uh let's see something real quick how this will fit. This is just a little test fit right here. We do that there and then will I be able to place cause this is gonna be the I guess formal living room. Fireplace. And then I guess a square to fill that space so we'll be able to even out everything. Man, that took a lot of room from this, but it's still just a little formal living room. I'll probably just do, probably won't even do like a whole couch in here. I'll probably just do two like little chairs, uh, put a picture up on the fireplace and a rug and then some... Oh, instead of doing the little shelves in the cabinets in here, I'll probably just do like bookshelves on each side. So we got to slide these windows down. On both sides. Or I did it on that side over there. And what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, the landscape, and I'm going to do something with that, but that just won't, that will be like the last part to this. Down here, I basically hit everything downstairs. Did I raise this platform up in here? Yeah, that's level. Um, This is just going to be like a sunroom. So, I don't know what type of floors I'll probably do concrete in there. I don't know. But, I'm just really putting my floor plan design together right now with this. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's do a first person tour of this downstairs. Because I already got my floor plan design basically completed down here for that. Before we go upstairs and make the floor plan designs. Alright, so this is what the exterior looks like so far. I don't know for the guy, for the people that wasn't in here when I first started this. This is what this looked like before. And then at the end, I'll place it so you guys will be able to see it. But that's what that looked like before. And then this is what it looks like now. Let's go inside. And this foyer area is not complete yet, so we still got to place a chandelier and stuff in here and fix that. Wait, wait a minute. I'm definitely about to go ahead and fix that while I notice it. Okay, so this is a simple fix. All we got to do is go here, grab this tool, this platform tool, and place a platform, and then lower it down. All right, now we can go back in the first person slash free camera mode. And I didn't place those lights there. Those been there. Now we can look up and that's closed up. And I got to fix that little roof right there that's poking through, but we gonna get that taken care of. Oh, and I need to put my window down a little bit. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's try this again. We're not done yet. I'm just doing a first person tour to uh downstairs. So this is the foyer area so far. We got the formal living room over here and the formal dining room across from it. Uh we got the new living room. Ooh, this looks 10 times better than what it did before. And you got two ways to go through to the kitchen. You can go through here or you can go around through here. And then we got the secondary staircase right there. Boom, your new kitchen. Uh, This is like where you're going to hang coats and stuff when you come in. And then I got to add a door, but this is the laundry room. I already made this a little bit bigger. I already got my floor plan designed complete for this I just gotta do the interior design on this so 
let's move back here. Back here is the sunroom. This is just like a extra dining room. Well, this was probably the formal dining room before, but I just decided to turn this into a sunroom because we already basically got two dining rooms. So I just decided to turn this into a sunroom. And that's it. No, we got to go the other way. <clears throat> All the way down here. It's another entrance into that living room. And we got the office right here. I'm going to keep this same um, layout in here. I might end up keeping those bookshelves too, but <clears throat> this is the office. I'm definitely going to change out that door. And then back here, we got a bedroom, which this space right here used to be a half a bathroom. I decided to remove that because, oh, I skipped it. I placed a new half a bathroom right here. So. This used to be a <clears throat> half a bathroom, but we switched that out. Then we got the bedroom right here, and they got this big opening. Um, if I don't turn this into an office space, I might do a big, like, master closet in here, even though this is not the master. <clears throat> All right, so right here, we got a bathroom, which I'm going to keep, and I'm going to do it the same way, just update everything. And then we got a closet, the small closet. Well, it's not that small, but it's a two by two. <clears throat> and yeah, that's it for the downstairs space. Now let's move up to the upstairs space. And um, my major change is going to be in that master. So upstairs, we got, I think, four bedroom upstairs. One, two, three, four, yeah. Even though that looks like a, that looks a little small, but it's four bedrooms up here. <clears throat> All right, so up here, what I'm thinking is, um, we got the master right here. So this is a pretty big master. I'm looking at this. I know they want they was shooting for the master bedroom and then having like a sitting area slash living room space in the master, but. I feel like this is a little bit way too big for just to be a sitting area. I'm thinking this was the sitting area over here. That's a little bit too big. And then we got a bathroom right here. So what I'm thinking is, and the closet right there. We take this. I'm going to just copy this. We move the bathroom up to here. Like this. And then this space back here, I'm going to just go ahead and remove all this stuff. <clears throat> because I want to do a real crazy closet. So we're going to take this space back here. Y'all know how to master bathroom and then the closet either be behind it or on the side of it. So that's what I'm going to do in here. We're going to put the master closet back here. And I'm going to just go ahead and remove those windows because I'm going to place new windows. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right. So if the master closet is back there, wait, I'm going to have to figure out a way to set my new bathroom up. Or, matter of fact, <clears throat> I can, um, I can now slide this back. Boom. Take that little bit of space from this closet. Just so we'll be able to do the little archway thing. <clears throat> and then. Back this out like that. Okay. Or. Is that a little bit too big? I don't know. I'll figure out the space. But. This closet right here. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Like. We'll probably just turn this into like. I don't know what we'll turn this into. This might be like a little. I don't know. Y'all drop down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think this old closet should turn into. <clears throat> I don't even know what I would turn that into. But this bathroom is kind of going to be extra big because of the way I got to set this up. 
All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of that, push this in, and then, um, we gonna do a toilet room here. Man, how did I wanna set this up? I wanted to do a toilet room there, but having the swoof with this, it just threw off my idea because I had an idea in mind, but then I thought about it. I gotta place a door to get into the closet, so that kind of threw off my design a little bit. Okay, hold on, let me back up a little bit. Because now I gotta kind of redesign this. In my head okay so boom you know one thing would make this 10 times easier what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put my design in that bathroom and then copy it and place it here and then copy that and then switch it so let me go back all right oh, wait why is it Oh, wait, now it's taking stuff from the downstairs space. I'm tripping. I don't know what's going on now. Okay, why didn't this remove? I don't even know. All right, so let me give you guys the idea I had in mind. <clears throat> okay. I can do it in this one because this is now set up the way I need it to be. All right, so over here, we're going to move this third cabinet. Move that stuff. Uh, like I mentioned, I want to do a toilet room here. Wait, how did I didn't want oh I know what I did. So what I did was I pushed this wall back. So I'm gonna push this wall back and then that's okay. Now I see how I did this set up. Alright, so that's the toilet room right there, and then this is the custom shower, so I'm gonna build a wall here. <coughs> And then place the glass <coughs> for this little shower. Like that. Boom. And then the vanities will come down. I can do... This side over here will be like the female side because it will have the extra counter for like makeup and stuff. So we'll do this, is not the cabinets that I'm going to use, but we we'll do three cabinets over here with a sink and then the mirrors on the back wall. And my design for the new tub is going to be, I'm going to move that, remove this. <clears throat> oh, and that's why I made that extra space. Never mind, we can't do the makeup counter. What we're going to do is do the little entrance into the closet that's why i had that extra space plotted out so boom boom that'll be the entrance into the closet <coughs> and then in between that we're gonna do a little catty corner wall with the new bathtub, which I'm going to probably use this bathtub right here. I'm just going to place that in black for now. So we'll do the tub over there. And then we'll still have the vanities over here and then the vanities over here. And with the rest of this space in this bathroom, I'm not even sure what to do with this. Uh, we'll probably just do like, we'll make... Okay, that's the bath. That's the toilet room. 
So maybe we'll just leave that like that. Yeah, and then this this would just be extra space right here. So that's how I want that to be set up. And then back here, this would be the closet. So let me just remove this stuff so y'all don't get confused and think it's two bathrooms in this master. So I'll just remove these walls. And this would be the um this would be the master closet back here. So I'm gonna do a custom closet. I'm gonna show you guys like some of the other custom closets and stuff that I did before, which a lot of y'all seen the other night. But I'm gonna do a custom closet back there. All right. And we can close this off one more, so that's like that. All right. So that's the custom closet back here. Um, this other closet, I still don't have an idea what I want to do with this space back here. Really, you won't even be able to get to that no more. I could probably make this bedroom bathroom a little bit bigger with this space right here. <clears throat> but other than that, there's nothing else I could do with that. I don't know what else I could do with that closet space right there. No, uh, you kind of missed like the whole downstairs, but and the exterior. But I'm gonna do like a little full first person tour once i'm done putting my design together this is just me i'm not like putting all the floors and the colors and everything together in this video right here i'm just putting my floor plan design together for this live but right now we in the master ba bathroom so right here used to be like a um like a little sit-in space for the master bedroom and then this was the main part of the bedroom and this was where the bathroom was at, but which I, what I did was switched it and placed the bathroom here. I'm, I'm going to end up turning this into a closet, a big closet with custom cabinets and stuff. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with this space back here. I don't know what to do with this. Maybe we turn this into like a little, if I can make it a secret room or something, I don't know. I don't know what to turn this into, honestly. I might just remove everything out of here and just leave it as a blank space. Because I don't even know what to do with this. But that's the ma that's the new master bathroom and new closet. Uh, Wait, why is that wall? Wait, what's going on with this? I don't know why that looks like that, but... That's my design for the new master bedroom and bathroom. Um, in the master, of course, I want to do a fireplace. I don't know if I should do it in the center of the room or against the wall. In one of my bedrooms, I did a fireplace like this, so I just took it and placed it in the middle of the floor. I don't know if I should do that in here. Kind of like the way that I look, and then we had a door. I'm going to remove that door, but we'll have a door here for the master bathroom. We'll have that. And then on this side, we can probably do like a window back here with, I don't know, something in this space. A little accent table or something back there. Or what we could do to make this even more, let's try this out. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we remove those cabinets, remove that, boom, and we do the, um, man, but then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put the curved wall back right there. I was thinking we do the fireplace above, like, right there with the tub, a double-sided fireplace. I could still do it, but we won't be able to do a little curved wall trick. I was thinking we do something like this, like the little tub and then the double sided fireplace. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys ever seen that in mansions or not, but 
Probably seen that in a lot of different mansion photos and stuff with the double sided fireplace. And then you'll be able to see through whatever. I don't know. I know it's a little thick. I'm going to make it skinnier. But I was thinking about we could probably do something like that. Maybe. The tub there. And then uh, vanities back here. Probably do like a window in the middle. If I decide to do that, I could go back with the first design. Wait, somebody drop down in the comment section. Do y'all like this design right here better? So we'll do... It would be... um to A sink on this side and then a sink on this side with mirrors and all that. And then here in the middle would be probably like a big window. We'll have a tub with the double-sided fireplace. And then the rest of the space would be blank. And this over here is the toilet room with a custom shower. We could do this design. This is the first design. Or we can go back to the other design. Which was the, the vanity. One vanity over here. And one over here. The tub in between those. And then... The other stuff was just original. Which one do y'all think looks better? One, the first design or the second one? I don't know. This, this is the first design right here. I don't know though. I could do the other one though. Bro, I'm so indecisive with this, bro. I don't even know. I kind of like the, the the second design. I think I might end up doing this. I like this. You know, if we want to, we could caddy corner the tub, but I'm gonna probably end up going with that. All right, let's slide over to these other bedrooms. Oh, right here, we could do a second laundry room. We have one upstairs and downstairs. This is a mansion, so we could do two laundry rooms. Archway. And then have the washer and dryer. I don't got to do the stack ones. We can just do the regular washer and dryer. So, boom, we have one like right there. And that there, and then I can put like some immaculate shelving above or whatever. But boom, boom, we can make that a secondary laundry room. Um, this is another bedroom with a bathroom and a closet. And like I mentioned, I'm gonna turn all these closets into custom closets. So let me just move that real quick. This is another bedroom with another closet. All right, so I'm going to just give you guys a little idea of what these closets are going to look like. Um, I'm not going to do it in the master closet because I don't got a design off the top of my head ready for that. But these little closets is just going to be simple. I know this is not supposed to be in these uh, bedrooms, but I'm going to end up using some of the kitchen double tile cabinets. Maybe we'll just do a simple one so it doesn't look weird. I don't know what colors I'm going to use them in yet, but this is just like a little idea how I want these to cause it to be set up. All right, so either I'll place that like that. Boom, and then we'll have like a little shelf at the bottom or the top. Hold on, how high? How high could this go? I need to remove this wall just so I can show you guys. All right, so, ooh, this cabinet right here is real long. Hold on, wait, we need to do a shorter one. Let's grab, uh, which one is shorter? Wait, I'm trying to remember which cabinets I use. Was it these? I think I used these. Oh, these, these are short walls, so I got to do the singles. All right, so we'll place that there. Surfaces this place and in the center of this We'll probably do something like this Boom Do that at the top and at the 
Wait, I can't place that down? Oh, that's why I can't go down. Oh, but I can put these down there. We place like that down there and then oh right there. Boom. Perfect. This will go in the center. Everything not going to align the right way, but I'm going to get it together. Oh, I don't want to mess that up, but okay. That doesn't look bad, though, if we do it like that. I'm trying to get everything to fit the right way, but these, because I didn't use, we're not using, um, what's the thing? Medium walls in here is kind of difficult because in my other builds, when I did these custom closets, I use medium walls. Okay, so I can do this like this then. You can do boom. In the center of this, I can grab some imaginary shelf. And this is just the idea of what these closets are gonna look like. In the center, we could do a shelf. Or two, how many ever, whatever. Boom, boom. That'd be the hang the clothes. And then right here, how do I want to do right here? Because this is going to curve. We're going to have to do a curve right here. Wait, how am I going? I got to figure out how I can set this up. Oh, like this. Okay, it's going to look a little weird, but I'm going to get it together. Boom. This is just a little idea of what they're going to look like. I might actually keep this one in here since I already put it together, but... This is just like a little idea of what the closets are gonna look like. Y'all let me know what y'all think of these little ideas. Uh, I wanna grab this right here. Wait, I used to could place these inside. You used to could place these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that. And can I do it the same up here? No, you can't place it in there. But this is just a little idea of what they're going to look like. Um, If this was a big enough closet, I would be able to place like <clears throat> a little something in the center. Well, in the center of this, we'll probably end up placing... Uh, something like this in the center. So in the center of these, oh, this is a little big. Okay, so in the center will probably be something like that. And then this wall right here. Bathroom. Mirrors, mirrors. Along the back wall, we'll have some mirrors. Wait. Like that, something like that. And I might end up, I remember in one of my builds, I did it like this. I put mirrors behind the little cabinets like that. So, that's just a little idea of how they will look. Um, I did a few different custom closet designs, which I'm going to show you guys some of those. But that's just a little idea of what the closet is going to look like in these bedrooms. Let me just build those walls back. And then let's go in first person and see how this looks.
Boom. So I'll probably just put an archway right here. And then, oh, that's through the roof. Oh. Okay. That's kind of disappointing. But, yeah, we're going to do some little custom closets in these bedrooms. All right. So what else did I need to do floor plan wise up here? Really nothing. Because... Can we make, where's the, the living room is here and what's right there? Oh, that's the master. I was thinking about doing, uh, from floor to ceiling fireplace in here, but the master's right there. So I can't open that up. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we still can't do that. Yeah. I, uh. I think that's about it up here to be for real, like floor plan wise. I already showed you guys what the closets are gonna look like. Um up here, what else did I wanna do up here? These bathrooms are pretty decent. Just gonna do like shower tub combos in each one. Maybe in one of these bathrooms in these bedrooms, I might end up doing like a custom shower. But really it's just gonna be that like that. Shower, regular shower tub combos. Down here, we did everything. Um, oh, this deck. So, this deck, it's not going to be too many changes. I'm going to make this. I'm just going to move this stuff right here. Because I kind of like this deck right here. It's just they messed up on this part right here. Well, it's not they messed up because this is they design, but it's not the way I want it to be. So, what I'm going to do is remove this fence off the Excuse me, off this back wall. And how do I get this? I don't even know how I fill this space. I don't know if I just place another one here or what I need to do to fill the space. I don't know. I'm going to just do it like this, though. All right, so... Boom, let's go ahead and remove that. Off the center. And then I know it's going to be a lot of doors off to this deck. It's going to be those two. I'm going to probably put like two down here. So we got three different entrances to this deck from the house. Uh, I want to place, I don't know how many doors I'll be able to fit from this. What's this? The living room. No, this is the kitchen area, actually. So, this is the second little dining room. So, we have doors over here from this little dining room space. And then, this is a bar area right here. And I got that idea from my little other mansion build where I did a second. It was a second little space and I wanted to turn it into a bar area. So, that's where I got that idea from. But, that's what, that, that's what that's gonna look like. Um... This laundry room, I'm going to just go ahead and try to put a little design together how I want this to be set up. I'm going to paint in there. I'm probably going to end up adding tile floors in there, but for now, just so I can put this together, I'm going to put these wood floors. Um, the cabinets in here. I want to use a double tile cabinet, but it's got these dishes in it. I was thinking maybe we do. Oh, hold on, I can just do it like this. I'll just do this normally. Not Allen cabinets. So I'm thinking this laundry room, we just do boom, boom. And I don't know why, but I just really like using the stack washing and dryer. So I'm going to stack them up unless you guys say otherwise. Unless y'all like that design, but we're going to stack them up and place the cabinets, full high cabinets in here. And then I'm going to grab these, this half a tile cabinet. Place above them. 
And over here in this space, I know I usually do the, like, the sink inside the cabinet, but I'm going to just do a single sink. Something like this over here. With, I don't know if I should place a mirror above it, but it's just going to be a little sink right there. And the door will go right beside that. So this door will go right here, like that. And that will be the laundry room. I, don't know, I could use the unstacked wash and dry in here. Like that. Oh, that's the wash machine. Okay. I could do it like that, but I don't know. I'll figure it out. We could do it like that. And then to fill that gap, place some immaculate shelving in between. <clears throat> Boom. So that could be the laundry room. And then we can place a single, I need a single window. Put a single window in here. Oh, and I mentioned in that kitchen, I want to use a... Um, a black backsplash so I'm gonna just grab this tile backsplash right here in black and I'm gonna oh hold on, wait I don't want to do it in this hole but we'll do this in this kitchen like that boom boom oh, I'm messing up like that and then I can either use this black tile backsplash in here or we could use this black um black wall wall paint wallpaper i'm saying wall paint i think this wallpaper looks better in here we could use that um that's it for the laundry room like i mentioned this is going to be a um little Area where you place coats and stuff, shoes, all that. This garage, this garage is real big. I'm not sure what I want to do in here. I'm probably thinking about like aligning, make this like a little tool shed thing on this side. So, where are those cabinets at? Oh, right here. These are the cabinets that I use for my garages. So, we could do like these cabinets all the way down. Not all the way down, but like halfway down this wall. A little more than halfway. Like that. And then grab the matching upper cabinets and place above that. Boom. 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 And then make this like a little, um, a little shade. Like a little tool thing, I mean. I'm saying a shade. A little for all the tools and stuff, for your tools or whatever. So I'll do that like that. And we should place a wall on the side of that. And I'm not sure what else we could do in this garage space, but that'll be like that. We'll place the door for in the garage, like right there. Uh, and this I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else? I might go ahead and paint this. I might go ahead and paint this uh, office space and give you guys the little layout. Well, it's already laid out, but give you guys the way I want to set this up with the computer desk and stuff. Because I got a vision in mind. And if I don't put it down now, then I'm probably going to forget it. So, definitely going to change the floors in here. Not going to use these same floors. But, for now, I'm going to just place this here. Just so I can get my little idea off. Um, I need to grab, so I'll do the computer desk. I'm not going to do a big computer desk. I want to do something simple. Maybe something like this. And place that like right there. And then I'm not going to put a computer on it. I'm going to just place a chair behind it like that. So we'll have the little bookshelf look in the background. 
And um, on this wall right here, I want to use that accent wall. I want to use this accent wall here. And then put a TV on that wall. We can put uh, this curved TV right here on this back wall. Not this big though. Lower that down. And got a little more I want to do in there. Where is the half a top? Okay. Half a top cabinet. And right. Put that. Put that down here like that. Half a top cabinet down there. With probably some immaculate shelving above those cabinets at the bottom. So we'll grab that. Oh, I don't even gotta do it like that. I can do it like this. Place that like that and slide that in a little bit. So this would be our little office space back here. I'll probably I'm not sure. Like I mentioned to you guys, I want to do some big windows on this back wall, but I'm not sure if I'm going to end up doing that. I know in this matter of fact, I am because those smaller windows that I use in the front, I definitely don't think I want to use that in here. Hold on, what's above this? Okay, so that's just that. So what I'm going to do is, wow, I'll be able to use the actual windows that I use in the front so I don't use a different window. I'm going to just remove that. We can just go ahead and remove these walls and then square this off because I don't want I don't like that shape in here. We want to make this a little more modern. So if I square this off, it's gonna look ten times better. Wait, how do I how do I feel this? Oh, I can just. My, Matter of fact, I don't even got to do all that deleting and stuff. We can just simply grab this platform tool and build a new platform right there. Lower that down. And then, uh, how do I? I just push this out, I guess. Or is that going to ruin? Matter of fact, I'm going to just grab the platform tool. And build a new platform right there before I mess that up. Ah, I was supposed to do that before. Oh, hold on, wait, no, I don't know. Okay, let's lower that down. Now we got this the right way. Okay, now we can do this like that. Uh, okay, the platform's still on top of it. Um, I don't, I'm not going to take that all the way up. So what I'll do is I'll probably just grab a little, do I use, I'm going to use a half hip roof right there. Can I push it in? If I can push this in. Boom. Roof patterning and then grab the roof trimming. And then, uh, where's the window? Where's the, should I use, hold on, can I use this window here? Or is this too big? Oh, that fits perfectly. Oh, okay, we can do that. And I got this little, uh, bill hack thing that I did on TikTok. Uh, wait, why are these floors? Okay, there we go. So we can do that like that. Put this little accent wall on this back wall. Boom, paint these little in, inner walls. And then, uh, I need those dressers. I need the, I'm not supposed to be doing all this in this live, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to grab a little dresser. Huh? And there's this dresser right here. And then I'm going to shrink this down. To boom back that in there hopefully this will fit the way i think oh yeah i'm gonna just do this like this okay so these are gonna be used as like how did i do that hold on wait i need to look on tiktok real quick and see how did i do that um the little book no 
build hack because I honestly forgot how I did that. Uh, if I can find the TikTok video, Sims underscore remodel. I did a reading nook build hack on there and I forgot how I did it. Reading nook. Hopefully, I can get the video to come up. Boom, I did that. Oh, what I did was I placed, but it's going to look a little weird. What I did was I placed, I took some cabinets out of a kitchen and I placed against this back wall. Oh, I want half of our cabinets. So I took these cabinets when I did that bill hack and I placed them there like that. And built a wall. And then we I grabbed those cabinets again. Turned the camera. I gotta push these down in there. Wait, is it going all the way down? It's not going all the way down for some reason. Wait, why won't it go? Wait, hold up. Oh, is that a full size cabinet? I think that's probably what that is. Which I know I clicked on half a tile, but it might have turned into a full tile. Because these cabinets usually go all the way down into the floor. Not into the floor, but on the floor. Okay, there we go. Boom. Boom, like that. And then I'll remove this wall. And we, I grab those. I need to go here and go to comfort. Grab that. Uh press all four back buttons on the controller and then go up on the d-pad and i slid this in there like that and this is how i made that book note bill hack on tiktok i think it's at like a million views i had one that's out of me if you something like that i can either put one in the center and make it look like that or i can do it the way it is it don't really matter but we can do it like that So we can do that there. And that is the office space. So that's how I want this set up. Um, I want to do some big glass doors in here. No lie. I want to do some glass doors in this office. Man, but I don't got no glass doors that will like fit the way I think it would. Oh, hold on. Wait. Oh, we do. We got these. Okay. So I can either use those or use these doors right here. This is like more office doors right here, no lie. Even though it's not gonna go with the rest of the doors that I'm gonna use in this house, I still feel like these are nice doors. So that's what the office is gonna look like. Um, I'm gonna just grab two more of these chairs and then place like that boom and should I just make this like an all glass office in place uh where are those I did that in this bathroom where is it at right here And place these windows on each side like this so you can like see out and see in. I don't know if I want to do my office like this, but this is just a little idea I'm throwing out there. We could do it like that. I don't know. That's my little office idea. Um, Back here in this living room. 
probably not gonna use those windows that window i mean i'm probably gonna use these two windows it's like two or three of these yeah i can do like two of these in here thank you uh i don't know um uh, I don't know about this living room with these little windows. I hate that these windows are so small. I was thinking my original idea was to run these windows all the way down this back wall. Because this is the living room. So, like having here lit up. Paint those windows black. like that that was my original idea to do in here matter of fact i honestly like that so i'm gonna do that like that because on, on on playstation we can't use mods on playstation you can't download mods or nothing so that's the thing about it i'll be seeing a lot of people in my comment section asking asking me that but you can't use mods on playstation definitely gonna try to get a pc though but i don't even know i have to rebuy all my packs and stuff and i got over 10 packs on here so i have to buy at least i don't got a pc i started i've been started off playing on playstation i started off on playstation i feel like it's way easier but i know you can use a controller on pc well actually i don't even know because i tried using a controller yeah i got a laptop i got it on my laptop matter of fact but i don't have none of the packs I got a MacBook. Yeah, so, like I was saying, um, I'm going to keep this like this. And I wanted to run those windows in another room, but I'm not sure which room it was. Oh, okay. Hold on, you can, how do you, I don't even know how you do the mods on, on Mac. Not even for live. Probably, what's... Probably one day this week, I'm going to go live. I'm like, if you be here, I'm going to go live on MacBook. And I need you to tell me how to do the mods. The same account. I don't. My PlayStation not connected to my EA account. I had to make a whole new EA account. Because when I use my original EA account that I use for my um, PlayStation, the it wouldn't let me download Sims on the computer for some reason. So I had to make a new account and then it let me download it. I don't know, but I, I'm not even finna lie, I kind of like, oh, file switching, uh, that's crazy, oh, you on Microsoft, see, I'm on Mac, so I don't even know how, Microsoft is definitely way better, I, I want to get a Windows computer, I'm not even finna lie, but if I switch a Windows computer, I don't know. I don't know if I want to have two computers, but if I switch my Mac out, then it's going to be harder for me to learn how to edit on Microsoft. Because Microsoft, you don't, on Windows, you don't have iMovie or whatever. And I don't really like using CapCut to edit, so I don't know. But um, in this house right here, we did the living room. We got the windows in there. We did the office. Uh, like I said, this is not like my final design. I'm just putting my floor plan design together and I just decided to put this office together since I had a little idea in mind for this. So I'm probably going to move on to I already did everything down here. Oh, and we did the laundry room for the people that's just joining. We did the laundry room. And then this is the kitchen. And upstairs, um, <clears throat> I got a new little bathroom design I want to do. Not a new bathroom design. This is the new bathroom design. What am I talking about? But this is a new bathroom design. Originally, the bathroom was right here. And this was like a little living room space inside the master bedroom. I didn't think that was needed. So what I did was put the bathroom here. And then I'm going to turn this into a big custom closet. And this is the custom closet that I came up with for this little bedroom. So you definitely know I'm going to do something crazy in the master. 
Hold on, I can't wait. The comment it cut the comment off. I can only see half of it. Hold on, let me go to YouTube. Ah, let me see. Cause I can't even see the full comment. Wait, let me join. <clears throat> All right. Dang it, why is my YouTube app? Hold on. I don't know why it always cuts the comments off. It, I can only see, like, the you are part of the comment on the end. That's the last part of the comment I can see. But anyways, this is the upstairs space. Like I was explaining to you guys, this is the new closet, which I'm going to do a custom design in there. And then we got the bathroom right here, which I already kind of laid it out so you guys can see what it's going to look like. We got a custom shower. This is the toilet room, and then this is the vanities, and then the tub right here. And I'm going to do a double-sided fireplace in here. So that's that. Um, I added a second laundry room, so we're going to have a laundry room up and downstairs. This is the downstairs one. And then it's going to be a small upstairs one. And that's basically it for the upstairs, just the rest of them, it's bedrooms and stuff. I'm just going to do simple stuff in there, paint, floors, and furniture. Nothing too crazy. This little area right here, I don't even know what I'm going to fill this up with decorations. Um, I might just do like how they got it and put an accent table up here with a picture. And then just add pictures all down the wall maybe, but... That's going to be it for this, like, little hallway space. This is a mansion, but it's not that big when you actually look at it. Let's, um... I'm going to add some new floors down there. So, let me grab these stone floors. Let's get them in black. Place that there. And then put this brick back here. Uh, I don't know. But it's cutting off the comments. I made a version of that. 40X. It's cutting off the comments, so I don't know why. Hold on, let me see if I can rearrange my comments on the screen. I don't even know if I could rearrange it. I don't want to accidentally end the live, so I'm not even about to mess with that. Y'all gonna have to like send y'all comments in pieces because it's cutting it off. Like I can only see half of it. You never seen what? Uh, this is a oh, candy man apartment. What's candy? What candy man apartment? Oh, and I forgot to mention. I don't even know what that is. Oh, y'all chatting about it back and forth. Okay. I was confused a little bit. But like I mentioned, this is a little bar space in this kitchen. Um, I'm thinking maybe. Oh, we could add the. Uh... I only got nits here. Like that. Even though that's a little close, but it's all right. I can actually slide these doors down a little bit and then back that up. All right, so that's that. Uh, 
I want to show you guys the other mansion that I remodeled so you guys see what this one looks like. <clears throat> this is, uh, I think this one right here. Yeah, this one is five bedrooms. I'm not sure if the other one was five bedrooms, but we're going to look at it. Wait, you did like a, you said public housing, like a projects renovation? Projects apartments. I did some project apartments. But let's go ahead and save this so I don't lose this. I'm going to go ahead and save this one to the gallery. So if you guys want to get it so far. Empty mansion. And then I'm going to put a rental at the end. And then I want to take you guys over to my other mansion. That I renovated. Well, it's not even complete. I never completed it. Thank you. Uh, let's save this to the gallery. I think this is five bedrooms. Like, I don't even know the bathrooms. Uh, okay, I gotta go back and do that again. I think it's five bathrooms too, because I added one. Five bedrooms, five bathrooms. Let's remove the description. And put remodel by Sims underscore remodel. All right, now I'm sharing this to the gallery. Now it's on the gallery if you guys want to get it. And I'm not done with this yet. I want to go take a look at, um, I want to show you guys my other mansion and I want to show you guys that the, the closet design that I was telling y'all about. So we're going to take a look at that first. If y'all was looking for my gallery, this is my gallery right here. Uh, let's go all the way down. Okay. That's the mansion right there. But first I want to show you guys the, the little closet. Wait, I don't remember what house that closet was in. Wait, I forgot what house the closet is actually in. I did a custom closet. Uh, what house did I do that? Oh, I think it was this house right here. Okay, so don't judge this house right here. This was my first ever mansion built in The Sims. All right, let's go look at this closet. Um, Everything was downstairs because I didn't finish this because I didn't like the way it turned out. So let's go in here to this master. This is the master bathroom. And was this the, okay, this was the bathroom right here. This is the master bathroom. This is the master bathroom. I know some of y'all might've seen this the other night. This was the little shower. And then this is the toilet room. Now let's go over here to this master closet. All right, so <clears throat> this is what I'm kind of planning on doing something similar to this in that other mansion um, bathroom, the closet. This is what I'm kind of planning on doing in there. And this was my first ever mansion built right here. And then back here, we got some little sitting areas with mirrors. So this is what I'm kind of planning on doing in that um, closet. I'm definitely going to come up with a newer design for it, but this is what I'm planning on doing. And then, as you can see, we got the windows right there. <clears throat> All right, so this was the other mansion for the people that wasn't in the loft the other night. Um... This is where I got that little bar area concept idea from. So, well, a few of the things that I did in this mansion, I'm kind of taking it from that mansion.
Yo, why is it taking so long to place? Please tell me. Please tell me it's not doing what I think it is. Come on, bro. I just want to place the mansion so I can show y'all some of the different things. But, oh, my God. Okay, hopefully my game doesn't crash, but I'm thinking that's what it's doing. For some reason, when I get close to the two-hour mark, every time my game does this. I don't know why. Okay, I think my game just really crashed. Bro, I really want to show y'all that mansion. Well, the 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 bar area and the kitchen in there. Uh, you didn't really miss that much. Oh, I did the office in that house. I did the laundry room. Uh, I don't know if you was in there when I redesigned the thing, the bathroom, and made a custom closet. But that's really all. But I'm not even finna lie, my game, I think my game just kind of crashed because it's not loading. Yo, every time I get on live and I, I'm hitting, about to hit the two hour mark, for some reason my game always does this. I don't know if PlayStation got some type of time on the lives or something but every time when i'm about to hit the two hour mark it always does this bro i'm about to give this another minute to load if it don't load up then i'm about to restart my game i gotta restart the sims because there's just no way my game crashed uh, I don't know if you guys watched today's video yet, but, like, I don't know, can y'all see? I don't know if y'all be able to see the pictures. Wait, can y'all see the pictures? Can y'all see the pictures I'm putting up on the screen, though? Yes. I don't think y'all be able to see the pictures that I'm putting up on the screen. I want to show y'all some pictures of the build I did today, if you didn't watch the video. Ah, uh, you can't. Dang it, that's messed up. PlayStation, oh my god. Bro, I want to show y'all the pictures that I did of that, and then I had another build I wanted to show y'all. Bro, I cannot believe my game just, like, really crashed, basically. And I don't want to get off live yet. I might restart. I'm probably about to restart because this. I don't think this is going to load up. I don't. I don't know why it even cracked. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know why it crashed. Okay, I'm gonna I'm a restart. I'm gonna restart so I can show you guys those builds. Cause I don't even know what's going on with this and why it froze up. All I was trying to do was place the mansion. I don't know if I was supposed to bulldoze this this mansion right here first, or if I was supposed to just place it. Yeah, I'm probably about to have to restart because my game it won't load up the mansion. I was trying to place the mansion so I can show you guys that the bar that I didn't there and it was either the master or oh I didn't do a custom master closet in there. But it was that bar area in that kitchen I want to show you guys. And I want to show you how a little bit of the designs that I'm using in this mansion I used in that mansion. So I'm probably about to just have to restart. Yeah, I'm about to just restart. Hold on. Y'all, I'll be right back. I gotta end it and then restart it. 